Welcome to the Charleston County Roadwise program, sometimes known as the Transportation Sales Tax Program. And I'm sure you know all about that. It's an opportunity for Charleston County to make a lot of improvements in roads and bridges and drainage and all of those things. We're going to be talking with two gentlemen who are going to tell us about a sort of new program that the county has undertaken that has to do with rural roads. Rural roads. We'll hear about that in just a second. Please don't go away. Hey, Charleston County, let's recycle. Charleston County makes it easy. Recycling glass, aluminum cans, steel and aerosol cans, plastics one to seven. We recycle them all. And don't forget paper. If it tears, recycle it. Even cardboard. Recycle at work, at home, and at play. So whether you're using the two curbside bin system and separating or the all-in-one roll cart system, keep recycling. Brought to you by Charleston County Environmental Management. Welcome back to our program. I'm at the County Public Service Building and we're going to be talking with two gentlemen, as I mentioned before, who know a lot about a program of sorts that uh, the county is undertaking right now that has to do with rural roads. And uh, it seems that those roads uh, have been maintained for a long time. And so now we're just going to make them legitimate in a sense. I'd like you to meet my first guest and he is uh, Frank Pandula and he is an engineer and with the engineering division of uh, Charleston County's Public Works Department. And uh, you'll meet another gentleman in, in just a while, and he too will tell us about this exciting program that's going on in our community. Welcome to our show. It's Thank good you. having you here. Very pleased to be here. I hear this idea of rural roads, and I think of communities where they have these dirt roads, and they've got potholes, and they don't seem to be passable or drivable. What's going to be happening to those roads? What's going on with that? Just by way of some background, prior to December of 2011, there were approximately 300 roads, rural roads, which were referred to as community roads. And the county, through its public works department, maintained these roads, keeping them passable. These roads traverse private property. They were called community roads. As of December of 2011, County Council rescinded that community road program and in its place presented a very positive program to bring these community roads into the county maintenance system. What was going on with regards to those roads, these rural roads that were mostly dirt and as I said earlier, potholes? What was the county doing about that during those days? Was it still trying to aid those communities and, and now we're just going a little step further? Yes, they were. Folks that were on these roads uh, that experienced potholes, if you will, impassibility, would contact the county and request that someone would come out and to provide some maintenance. And if our field operations personnel were in the area, they would be deployed to that road to blade it. That's a term using a piece of equipment that has a blading device on it where it would level out the road, fill in that pothole. Unfortunately, if the rains came that night, that road would re-enter its mm -hmm. impassibility. So the program that we have initiated through our public works department is to survey those roads and to approach those folks and say, you have allowed us to come onto your property for some 40 years. We would like to declare that that portion of the roadway that we maintained now is a public right of way. And we will elevate the maintenance. We will elevate the condition of that road. We will provide some contouring of the road. We will provide some maintenance and some drainage if necessary. Things have sort of changed. In the past, the residents in those areas where the roads were would come to the county and say, would you do something about this road? Uh, it's a pothole, it's, it's filled with water, and all those things were just weren't very good for your car or for your walking. Right. So now that's different. Now we, or the county, is going to help the people, or they are notifying the people in those areas that if you've participated with us before, we're going to do something even grander than we've been doing. Precisely. 
We're bringing those roads into a level of condition where they will be brought into the county maintenance system, put on a regular maintenance schedule. And we have experienced some very favorable response from the folks. And we are happy to be here to provide that. And we indicate that if those folks have any questions in connection with our rural roads or previously community roads, they need to contact our office. And we have that standard phone number at 202-7600. Uh, we're here to serve and we're happy to receive those calls and respond to them accordingly. Now some will think of this as the old community road program. Uh, will they know it in that name? Will they have known that they were participating in something like that? When, uh, uh, I don't know the machinery that's used, but when they would come by and someone would call the county public works department and you'd come by with a piece of machinery and try to make some improvements. Was that a, a program in itself? And will, that, and will that now be discontinued and this new idea of continuous maintenance be put in its place? I think you said it best. That road, uh, community road program no longer exists. Uh, but in its stead, uh, we have brought those roads into a county maintenance system on a regular basis. Why now? It was considered uh, longstanding that it was time to bring those roads in to a public category. Prior to it, we were traversing private property, and now these roads have been declared by council action in December as public roads. Does one have to participate if they don't want to? Suppose a group of neighbors get together and say, we, we don't want to do that. I can't imagine why they wouldn't want to do it, but there are people like that. Why? Would they not want to do this? Well, in, there's, in some instances, uh, folks along those roads would like to preserve a private characteristic to it, and we'd respect that. Uh, there are good reasons why three or four residents on a road say, well, we believe that we can maintain this ourselves, and rather than put this into a category of a public road, we would decline. And we respect that, and then we take that out of our county maintenance system. Will there be any need in the future for residents who are participating to call you? Or will this program be ongoing to the extent that a check, you check on these roads periodically, or someone takes a look at them and says, oh, it needs repaving again? Or well, we will continue to monitor them in our maintenance system. However, if folks along those roadways want them improved to another level, they need only call our office and indicate what their preferences are and we begin to put them on a system uh, where we can investigate their request and see what we can do. These are roads that are <coughs> private property in some extent, to some extent. Um, so how do you get a group of people on the street or on that, along that road to all agree? Do you talk to them or visit with them? Or how do you do We it? do. And it has been a very um, successful category of interfacing with the folks along the roadway, explaining to them what has transpired in the past, how we propose to move forward. And we have received very favorable response. Mm. The folks along the road have welcomed us. We have our staff going out frequently meeting with the folks on the road. It's a program that requires explanation and we have the patience to do that. Are other uh, counties doing this, do you know? Not to our knowledge. Is that right? We are unique. Because, well, we all know that. Thank you for that information. Really appreciate it. I want to talk now about uh, the number of roads and where some of them are located. And I'm going to bring on another one of your colleagues to talk about that in just a moment. We're going to find out which roads are involved to some extent and what's going on in these rural communities. So don't go away. Hey, Charleston County, let's recycle. Charleston County makes it easy. Recycling glass, aluminum cans, steel and aerosol cans, plastics one to seven, we recycle them all. And don't forget paper. If it tears, recycle it. Even cardboard, recycle at work, at home, and at play. So whether you're using the two curbside bin system and separating, or the all-in-one roll cart system, keep recycling. Brought to you by Charleston County Environmental Management. Welcome back to our program. We're talking about rural roads in Charleston County, and 
a new way of making sure that those roads are being taken care of. Roads that you may have been looking at for a lot of years that were just dirt. Well, now they're turning into paved roads and uh, it sounds like it's an excellent program, but we're going to find out how many are involved and uh, how the county plans to notify the public that they too can, on these roads, that they too can be involved. I'd like you to meet my next guest. He is Benjamin Blanks, Jr. And he is asset manager for Public Works, Charleston County Public Works, that is. And uh, I just talked with Frank Padula, and he was telling me, Pandula, I'm sorry, he, he was telling me that this project or this road work has been going on for quite a while, yes. but it wasn't formal. Exactly. So, so now we're formalizing it, and, and, and in what way is that going to be formalized, these various roads? And then I want to know how many. Okay. Well, as Frank uh, mentioned earlier, uh, the formalization is, first of all, was Council's action back in December of 2011 when they rescinded the community road program and now uh, evolved the county non-standard road program. And that program uh, just takes a number of different steps that staff, uh, public work staff, undergoes to include a, a number of face-to-face -face with the public. We, we sent out some initial letters informing them of the program. And it's, it, it's just a you know, huge endeavor that we're, they're undergoing. Well, it sounds like a great uh, project or undertaking. And I imagine that it will go on a while because many of those roads will be refurbished as you go on. But before we get to that, where are these roads and approximately how many? These roads are, uh, extend from uh, all parts of Charleston County. They're in the back, if you would, <laughs> every rural areas of the county. Uh, there are some in some of the uh, municipal uh, jurisdictional areas, uh, donut holes, etc. Um, and so there's approximately dwindling down the list. We started out with about 300 and we're uh, in the process of bringing those in. We're down to approximately uh, 270. Is that right? Right. And, and uh, have they all been paved or repaved? No, they're, these are still, keep in mind, these are earth roads that are very narrow. Some of them have uh, very nice canopies uh, with, with you know, covered with vegetation, mm -hmm. trees, grand oaks, and all of that. And, we're, and so we're taking one road at a time and just kind of looking at the needs of the public, what they'd like to see, along with our maintenance program to, to, to bring about, while there's, there's, there's definitely not a need to have all paved roads in a county, and, th and there's that need to keep some of that rural, you know, that, that, that environment, th just, just the astuteness mm -hmm. of the environment intact. In and that's, that's part of our program. You know, I was just wondering, as you were saying that, if you will be refiguring some of those roads, because uh, when they're dirt roads, folks go around sometimes obstacles that are in the way. Right. And, and is that... Is that possible? Could that happen too? Well, keeping in mind, we will, we will follow the wishes of the public. We will inform the public from, the, from an engineering standpoint of safety, you know, the ability to traverse a road, to deal with the weather that, that's impacted it, you know, high tides, low tides, uh, heavy rainfalls, storms, etc. And so our focus is first that foremost is the safe travel of the public and, and doing maintenance. Then there's, along with that, there's the need for preserving a number of grand oaks and other type mm. specimen trees that are out there. And those things are near and dear to a number of staff, the Public Works Council. And, and the a, community. And the community, yeah. foremost. And so we, we approach that if, if, if there's desire for the public to want to say, improve the road to that extent, of course, we'll get into something different, you know, as far as the details of how we go about that. We won't just go out there and do it. it, it we will interface, we'll engage the public, understand what their needs are, explain to them what is required, if it is additional right of way, 
And, and only then, if they grant that, will we proceed. How is the public perceiving this at this point? Uh, I know that you've done some work already, uh, the Public Works Department, and uh, some folks are ready for something like this, and others say, uh, uh, just leave it alone. It's been like this since my grandmother was alive. I don't want you to do anything. Uh, are you getting that kind of a reception too? Yes, and, and just to explain just just how how exciting this program, it, age, uh, uh, nationality, or race has when people want to improve their their way of life, and and road improvements gets to be a part of that. Just an example: we went out on one road, and there was a lady, 96 years old who owned the majority of the property along that road and without question, after explaining the program, signed saying, hey, we, I want to see these this improvements. And she, wasn't, and she wasn't asked for the road to be paved, yeah. she just wanted to see some regular maintenance going on, you know, with some drainage, drain, drainage being improved and that type of thing. And this is the Hafston sales tax program that we're doing it's here. A, yes, it is. The transportation Hafston sales tax program. And, and we have to say that some of that money's coming, and maybe all of it, I don't know, coming from that program, transportation sales tax. Is that not true? Yes, it is. All of our administrative costs that were involved in that, field costs, road inspections, um, uh, a, a lot of the improvements that we will do will definitely, uh, we'll be requesting using the funds we have allocated and possibly requested more if, if available. Well, that's one of the reasons why the county does this show because we want people to know that the transportation sales tax is being used and being used widely yes. and that the public is involved and we're doing things that uh, may never have happened had that's, it not been f for this program. That's, that's correct. A and you said that these roads were all over the county, different places. Yes, they are. Are, are there some still outstanding or have you gotten them all? Do you think you know we, them all? We think we're, we're almost 100% sure that we've got them all on our list. And so that list is our guide, a part of our guide, along with the pr process we have in place that basically allows us to go down and we're gonna identify and visit as we currently are doing, staff is doing, we're visiting every road that's on that list. We're putting a number up on the screen so that uh, if individuals who are watching us right now wanna get in touch with uh, the Public Works Department and those who are doing this project, you can do that and they will answer your questions, I'm sure, and uh, they will let you know if you're qualified to do this for whatever reasons they may be and uh, just, just answer your questions. We're going to take a break for just a moment and when I come back we're going to talk about some of those roads and what's outstanding. Have we gotten them all or do we not want to get them all? Maybe we do, maybe we don't. We'll talk in just a moment. Hey, Charleston County, let's recycle. Charleston County makes it easy. Recycling glass, aluminum cans, steel and aerosol cans, plastics one to seven. We recycle them all. And don't forget paper. If it tears, recycle it. Even cardboard. Recycle at work, at home, and at play. So whether you're using the two curbside bin system and separating or the all-in-one roll cart system, keep recycling. Brought to you by Charleston County Environmental Management. Welcome back to our program. We're talking about uh, rural roads and paving those roads and making improvements throughout Charleston County. And uh, it sounds like a good idea. Apparently, a lot of people are interested in having that done. These were once private roads or private property, anyhow. Yes. And uh, people were asking the county to come in and make improvements. Uh, with various machinery and all of that kind of thing. And so the county just turned around and said, well, why don't we just do something about that so that folks don't have to call us all the time? And I think that was a good idea, don't you? Yes, and I think that that was a part of council's, uh, you know, thinking and trying to take it from that, you know, that community road program whereby, you know, if a motor grader was out in a particular area and a citizen happened to call within that week, then we would basically dot in, do very minimal uh, work, and, and, and we're gone. This, this does give a lot of credit. It kind of helps us counsel to put their arms around 
their investment that we've done over the number of years that we what little work we have done and it, it equates to dollar value because the price of fuel yeah you know th those machines burn diesel and diesel is very costly after this program if you get a call because we are putting a number up there and someone says i want my road done now is that something that you can do or do they have to go through certain steps uh, legalities maybe well the current like we said mentioned earlier we there was approximately 300 roads included in the community program and that community program now 